design review. Sorry, I had to do it. Okay, we're going to look at the design that uh, I made at first, and then we are going to have a look at the design that Martin made, uh, why it didn't work as expected, or what the differences are, and then uh, at the Discord, at some solutions that other users suggested. The problem he encountered was that the marbles uh, got stuck, and they got stuck not here at the top where the most pressure is, but at the marble below it. The main reason I first want to point out that the difference between Martin's design and my design is the material. And we have two nuts on the plastic and on the wood. And if I go, uh, go tilt it, then you can see that the plastic starts sliding first and the wood has a lot more friction. Now, if you have a closer look at the design that Martin made, uh, there are some signs, and he mentioned it in the video, that the marble path wasn't really smooth. You see little bumps over here and here, and that's places where the marble can get trapped. So if we have a look at his new design, we can see that the path is a lot smoother. Another thing he did was uh, decrease the angles, which will reduce the friction and increase the force on the bottom of the uh, part but that wouldn't be a problem I suspect because he has three bands instead of two so I hope this design works but if it doesn't not all hope is lost yet another suggestion by Molak on the discord is to have uh, the, this face supported he suggested to really simply uh, close off the center part and maybe you can close off the wall front part to decrease friction and to make it stiffer. If we have to have a look at the open windows and why I think that uh, it adds a lot of friction, and the force of the marble, of the cube in this case, is converted into the walls, but the force, the normal force, will be a lot higher, increasing the friction. But another problem is that if it doesn't roll on top of the marble, but on the side, you can see that there is different speeds in the contact patch. The more you go on the side, the more uh, friction there is. So that's why the new marble lanes go that slow. It's mostly because of friction instead of over rotation, especially if it's on a ridge like with the window, instead of having a stronger surface. Another solution uh, we see quite uh, often on the Discord is to have some kind of insert. We'll reduce wear on the wood, uh, it won't dent, so the friction is uh, less, but uh, friction on metal or plastic is less anyway. So that way you can have a smooth transition with some kind of insert that can be replaceable. The last design I want to cover is, I think, the best design. Uh, it's, it needs a redesign, and it's by the Moon. And he suggested to uh, have a completely different marble path, not like the step design Martin has now, but more like a question mark where the marble goes over the top and goes back. If the path is too wide, maybe because the wood gets dented or any other reason, the marble gets pushed over the top of the marble below it and then it, the marble below it can get trapped. But with the question mark design, the top marble gets also pushed to the right by the cube, but it will go over the marble below it, which means that the cube will free up this marble, which will roll down here. So I think uh, this will be the most foolproof solution. If you have a look at the simulation he did, you can see he compared the my uh, basic design, the design with the zigzag, and the question mark, and the slightly altered question mark design. So let's have a look at uh, the current zigzag design. He added a bit of slop, but you can see that this marble gets trapped by the marble on top of it. And only if this wall uh, has a lot tighter tolerances, it will flow through. But if this wall flexes due to the wood or due to the slots, then it can get trapped as well. Now we'll have a look at the question mark design. At the question mark design, uh, you see it already, the top marble will always be pushed over the marble below it, pushing it down. So it has a lot more room for error than 
the zigzag design you see on the left. But I think the roadmap uh, to success, if you can call it like that, uh, is firstly change the angles uh, and maybe try the tolerances. And if those tolerances don't help, or scrap those windows, especially the ones in the front, but also in the side to add more rigidity, make it stiffer. And then I would jump to the question mark design. It needs a redesign, but the uh, module itself can be smaller because it stacks on top of itself. Uh, and it has more promise. The flex in the front wall won't matter that much because extra flex means that the marble gets pushed through more instead of less. Uh, then you can make the complete unit out of a different material like POM. Uh, and then you can go down the road to having adjustable uh, zigzags or inserts or other complex measures. But uh, I would say keep it stupid simple and uh, have a look at some other ideas to re reduce the pressure or make the uh, marble gate less pressure sensitive. You can uh, lower this part which means that the marble doesn't have to go on top of the wood again. So maybe this can be even a little bit slanted so that the pulling part uh, pulls the cue a bit up, but then when it goes back, the cue also helps it to go back, reducing the friction. So that was my recap of the design that I made, Martin made, and the solution the Discord made. There's still a lot of promise in the zigzag design, and if there is not, uh, feel free to scrap it and have another idea, but I think the best measure is to look for a solution that is uh, applicable to all marble gates and not have a custom solution for every marble gate. But there are other solutions than a zigzag if that can't get working reliably. I made it work and I couldn't get it stuck. I think there is still promise. And I think on behalf of the whole community, good luck.